We see collisions happening, we see these debris clouds, it's only going to get worse. That we, we can't ignore this problem, we have to act now. A UK-based mission is set to remove junk from space. Using a giant claw, the CLEAR mission will remove two large pieces of space debris from low Earth orbit. In what is the first attempt to ease the dangerously congested space environment? As far as we know, will be the first removal of a real piece of debris from orbit. So we're not taking it with us. We're going to get this, this kind of two metre large uh, old launch adapter and pull it safely down out of the way. Space debris, also known as space junk, is made up of discarded launch vehicles or parts of spacecraft. The US Federal Communications Commission says of 10,000 satellites deployed since 1957, more than half are no longer working. These float around in space at tremendous speeds, up to 15,700 miles per hour, in low Earth orbit, risking collision with a satellite or space station. That's where clear space comes in. In 2019, the European Space Agency, or ESA, selected ClearSpace to lead the first mission to remove an ESA-owned item from orbit. Here's ClearSpace UK's Managing Director, Rory Holmes. Our systems will be able to remove multiple pieces of space debris. They'll go grab onto one, pull it down safely out of the way, then go back and get the next one and do the same. So yeah, our systems will remove multiple, multiple pieces of debris with each, with each mission. The CLEAR mission launch is planned for 2025 to 2026. Along with a consortium of companies, CLEAR Space hoped to remove two UK registered objects that have been inactive for more than 10 years. They all get close to them, navigate close to them, and then attach, grab onto them, give them a big hug with our robotic capabilities, uh, and then pull them down out of the way and let them safely burn up in, atmosphere, in the atmosphere. Um, and, and prevent them causing trouble or crashing or interacting with other space objects. Cleaning up debris is expected to be a huge growth area for what's being called in-orbit services. It's a new sector, which is estimated to be worth more than $14 billion by 2030. That's not all. Clear space also want to improve sustainability in orbit. They say this is about keeping satellites operating as much as removing the waste. So if you think about a car, if it breaks down or runs out of fuel, we do something about it. We fix it, we refuel it, uh, we use it again. Uh, in space, we don't do that. We treat satellites as a single use item. We use them once, we discard them, uh, we leave them to clutter up space and, and interfere with future space operations. So that's unsustainable. We need to do something differently. There's already loads of junk up there and we keep adding to the problem. We really need to think about how we make sure our space activities are sustainable. So one, one side of it is services like ours, debris removal, but the other side is when we launch things, we should think about that end of life and we should build in end of life capabilities to make sure they're not ending up as junk after they finish their job.